The production of nuclear power generates hazardous radioactive waste, which must be managed and kept separate from humans and the environment for a long time. In Sweden, this responsibility lies with the owners of the Swedish nuclear power plants, and they have formed SKB to solve the task. We at SKB have worked for a long time on developing a solution, and now we want to build a permanent final repository. We want to build a permanent final repository for spent nuclear fuel in Forsmark in the municipality of Ersthammer. The spent fuel repository will be located at a depth of almost 500 meters in the Swedish bedrock. When it is backfilled, it will not need to be monitored or managed. After careful investigations, we have found this site very suitable for the spent fuel repository. The method for final disposal is based on three different barriers that prevent the radioactive elements in the fuel from reaching humans and the environment. First, the spent fuel is placed in a protective copper canister that is resistant to corrosion. The encapsulation takes place in the facility that we want to build directly adjacent to the interim storage clab. Around each canister, there's a buffer consisting of bentonite clay. The most important task of the bentonite clay is to prevent transport of substances to and from the canister. When the bentonite comes into contact with water, it swells. In the limited space in the deposition hole, it therefore becomes very compressed and compact. The buffer thus makes it difficult for water and other substances to get to or from the canister. The bedrock will provide a stable chemical environment for the canister and buffer of bentonite clay and protect them from events on the ground surface. The spent nuclear fuel produced by us will not disappear. The spent fuel repository in Forsmark is a way of taking responsibility for the nuclear waste produced by our generation.